morning guys. So it is currently today, Saturday. I'm wearing my Saturday socks. Oh, they're a bit dirty actually. So it's about that, what's that? Holly highly recommends socks with the days on because it means that you actually know what day it is. I just get completely confused with what day it is because even though it's Saturday and it's the weekend, it does not make a difference to my life basically here at uni because I still have work to do. I still have lectures for goodness sake on a weekend. So it's not really a weekend if you see what I mean. Every day is just like standard. It's just like work every day. Anyways, today is actually a really busy Saturday. So it is my first dance performance of the term. It's not a competition. We are just performing at this trampoline varsity. We're not trampolinists. We are performing our jazz number. Hence, that explains why Holly is starting the video with some makeup on. I have two lectures, but the performance is at 12.45 and I normally have a lecture from 12 to 1. So I have to miss a lecture today. So I'm like, definitely not one to miss lectures. I hate missing lectures, but because I have a performance that I've committed to and agreed to do it like last year, then I kind of like can't pull out of it and I'm just gonna have to like catch up on the notes. So I'm running through my day, let's just get this in our heads. You know, we need to like be on the same wavelength. I can't do this. My sister will laugh at me for doing this. Like my fingers just don't move like that. I have a one lecture at 10 to 11, but before my lecture, I have a tap rehearsal because it's the only time everyone could do from like nine till 10 and then I have to rush to a lecture. So you can already tell this Saturday, it's gonna be a busy day. Then I'm gonna come back and get ready, like touch up my makeup, put my costume on and stuff, go to Trampoline Varsity, which is at the sports center, quite far out, do a performance, come back. And then in the evening, five till seven, I have this journal club. So in one of my study videos, I was talking about like reading papers and stuff for this journal club that we're doing. That is today. All I know is I'm talking about rice. I am also this weekend, it's gonna be very exciting. So I was sent this package the other day. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about it a bit later. Um, but I am basically going to be transforming myself. Holly is, uh, you know, le pale, despite a bit of bronze. But basically, Holly is gonna be fake tanning her whole entire body for the first ever time in my whole ever life. I could come out as like a streaky baked bean. We don't know, but anyway, hopefully not. I'm gonna go and eat breakfast now because my stomach's like Holly. So never actually mentioned this before, but Holly does have a Spotify account. I haven't done that much on it yet, but when I was listening to this yoga playlist, which I really love at the moment, I do my yoga, my strengthening stuff to this like every morning. So it's a really great one. It's just called yoga and meditation, but I follow this playlist or whatever you want to call it. Look how good this papaya is. It was this shape. So very, very strange little papaya. Finally found the location. I cycle quick, so I have to cycle to my lecture afterwards, but according to my Google Maps calculation, it should have taken me three minutes to get here. I am the world's worst with directions and bearings. I went up the completely wrong road. But yeah, it's like the other day when I went to physio, it said it was gonna take me 15 minutes on Google Maps. It took me like double that time at least. It doesn't take into account that I'm on a tiny bike. It's meant for like a 12 year old. Why do we get there? Um, my roommate's an ambassador for this law firm. Hey! No bad for a Saturday morning. Three water bottles people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's rain, spit a bit, which is so annoying, but I've arrived on time at my lecture. So I have got back from my lecture and I need to get myself ready now. So I was very kindly sent these products from EcoTan. I've had a spray tan once. I've never done it myself. So essentially I was sent out three products, um, two of which are fake tanning products. This is the winter skin and this is for fair medium skin tones and that is definitely my type. This is mainly for your body but I think you can use it on your face as well. However, they've sent me this face tan water which is specifically for your face. The other is this um, pink Himalayan salt scrub. I'm gonna be trying this out on my hands predominantly, but I might actually use it as a scrub on my body because I need to exfoliate. I read on the thing, I need to exfoliate at least 24 to 48 hours before and I was like, 
oh when was the last time i exfoliated so holly should do that if i want to get better results so i'm going to try these for you guys and just tell you whether i think they're good or not they are all 100 vegan cruelty free they're all organic actually the ingredients are so good it's literally so natural you cannot get more natural than this we're gonna hopefully see a transformation from this very pale person to someone with a nice glow new holly with a tan but anyway i need to go now and get on and do my hair and be at the sports center in like an hour so i've just done my hair it's in like a low bun and it looks like so flat i think i sprayed it like so much so we now need to shove on our stuff let's find my dance drawer okay so this is the jazz leotard then we need are these them yes fishnet tights this is the leotard that i've just got on it's quite it's quite a nice leotard the back is really nice actually it's just got like this massive oval cut out fishnets it's literally just fishnets but yeah so this is basically what i'm wearing a leotard and fishnet tights we're going on in like five oh, minutes i need to warm up yeah, i do not feel good i'm supposed to be in split this is what's happening right now everybody's warming up just trying to like warm up okay jazz let's go run it run it okay bye it's over literally over like in a couple of minutes three minutes i put some trousers on just to like feel a bit more normal so we're performing and then there's a cheerleading performance as well by like cambridge cougar and um, our street team are performing now. So it's like raining again, which is so annoying. Raining! Raining! We were really rushed. We arrived and like had 10 15 minutes to be on and i had to warm up like properly especially for my hamstring this place everyone oh sorry for the like major scarf issue going on so this reminds me of when i came for the photo shoot last term um outside and it was like super cold if anyone remembers that over there somewhere on the coldest day of the year like in a leotard and that was it, leotard. The pictures like on my Instagram. Oh yeah, this reminds me of where I do my exams, which is not a nice reminder. So we do our exams. Oh hey Beth. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm just showing that this is like ni not nice reminder where we do our exams. Oh yeah. god, I know. And Beth, where we did that photo shoot in the cold. Oh don't. I've only had bad experiences here. 4:58, just on time for journal club at 5 p.m. till seven, two hours. <sighs> I'm gonna get hungry, I bet you. This afternoon, I went and showed around my cousin and her friend for a bit. Um, wait, this way. I think I have to do a presentation. I haven't prepared. Great, let's see how this goes. So it is quite a few hours later now. Um, I just had journal club. About journal club, I was just gonna say. So we had to do presentations. We had to like each read a paper and then we had to like present it. And you know when you like, you're aware that you have to present something, like I'd made my PowerPoint thing, it was all fine. I'd read over my stuff, I knew about rice. But even though I had like read over my stuff, I hadn't mentally prepared for the fact that I was having to stand up in front of people and present something. That realization only kind of hit me when I was like walking into the room and I sat down and I was like, I actually have to stand up in a minute and talk about my paper so kind of hit me hard and we sat down and my supervisor and the other person who was like running it with us was like holly you go first and i was like that hit me even harder i was literally like um yeah sure when in reality i'm just like no anyway holly stood up and did her presentation oh i don't know like i kind of finished and i was like I don't know what I even said. You know when you finish something, you're like, what 
even happened but anyway journal club's done now it was a great experience at five to seven on my saturday evening i am going to in the shower or actually before i get in the shower because this is what the instructions have said so i apparently need to exfoliate my body 24 to 48 hours before i tan the only thing that i'm not really gonna do is an allergy patch test because i am sure i'm not gonna wake up tomorrow morning with a rash i laugh because i probably will now i've said that but oh well normally i don't react to things i'm not very sensitive okay so biggest mess up of my life anyway hey guys it's sunday and it's currently 9 a.m in the morning and i'm already at homerton i've cycled all the way to homerton because originally yes we were supposed to have rehearsals at 9 a.m so holly is up ready to go but no apparently the group chat on whatsapp has arranged that we're gonna have the rehearsal instead today at 5 30 p.m holly doesn't do whatsapp guys Holly doesn't check her WhatsApp. So I have basically arrived at 9 a.m. And my next rehearsal is at like 12 or something. <sighs> I mean, I can't do anything now. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna cycle back to college. I think I'm just gonna like work here. I've trekked out with my ra massive rucksack with loads of work in. I've got some food and stuff. So I think I can stay at Homerton and do a bit of work. Hopefully I'm gonna get one of my friends to let me into the library, but I don't think they're up right now because it's 9 a.m. Don't do WhatsApp, people. Eee, why? Why has this happened to me? Ah, uh, gosh. So I can't work in the library. This will be okay for me to work for now. Beth has just responded to my messages, thank goodness. So she's gonna come and get me and let me into the library in a minute. So yeah, I've just been doing some work um, and then I'm gonna move to the library so we're gonna have to pack up my stuff. I just cycled back to college so basically update so I stayed in the library I did loads of work well it felt like I did loads of work so I actually had so much time I normally say that I don't like working in libraries but I actually quite like that Homerton library um so I've cycled back now because I don't have rehearsals again until 5 30. I had like the finale rehearsal and tap rehearsals just then it's now like half two so I've got to be back at half five Back for the fourth time. Fourth cycle. <laughs> Finally finished. So I've just finished jazz, I had contemporary, and now I'm gonna cycle back. I am out of green veg, and you know how Holly feels about green veg. And when I'm out of green veg, I get quite stressed because I don't have enough green veg. I think I've said green veg now five times. I might stop off, see if like a local Sainsbury's or like Tesco Express is like open so I can go and just grab some green veg for the sixth time. If somebody was listening to my conversation right now, they'd be like, what the hell? And you are too, so I'm just gonna like go now. I went to Sainsbury's local because obviously it's Sunday, places aren't really open. I grabbed some Brussels sprouts because you guys know how I feel about Brussels sprouts. I found these, what are they called? Boodles. Butternut squash noodles, which they have called boodles, which is quite funny. But yeah, they were reduced and I was like, yes, I'll have those. And personally, I'm just going to say I don't replace those for like noodles i will eat noodles and boodles but also i just wanted to say that my bike lights so this one um i don't know why but it's just like stopped working probably the batteries are gone or something but this one so last term 
I had to sellotape it because it's got this massive crack on the middle because I dropped it But today I well and truly went and smashed it didn't I because it like flew off my basket when I like went down this step And then I watched the car ride over it and I was literally like you had one job Mr. Car man you could have driven around my light, but no he decides to squash it so Holly is in need of new lights, I feel. So the time has come, my friends, to transform myself. Okay, so this towel better not fall down because that would be a tad awkward. You don't need a glove to apply it. You can just rub it in with your hands. So I'm really scared. I'm actually so scared to do it. And I'm obviously not gonna be able to show you putting it on because I need to do my whole body, you know? So I'm just so worried. Oh my God, it's coming out, okay. Obviously it's coming out, Holly. State the obvious. Here we go. Oh, it's dripping. It's dripping, people. It's dripping. Right, okay. I'm going to see you when I'm done because I cannot, obviously. My towel is literally falling down now. Bye. So, we've done it. So I applied this basically all over my body. Well, I also used the fake tan water all over my face and just like this bit, which I think they call your décolletage, which is probably French. Imagine if I turn out tomorrow looking the color of these boodles. I mean, that's quite orange and I don't think I can deal with that. That could be interesting. Ciao for now, my friends. And I will see what we look like tomorrow. So this is day one and I'm looking at myself like I don't really think I look that different. So I showered this morning, um, so like washed it off and I said yesterday it didn't really smell like fake tan. It did start smelling a bit more like fake tan. When I washed it off I can't really smell it anymore at all. So I think in this mirror you can maybe see it a bit or like I look at myself and I'm like yes I look a bit more tanned. So when I woke up I definitely noticed that my face was like more bronzed but yeah I've got a little bit of a glow and I think that's really nice in the winter especially when there's no sun and it just makes you look a bit healthier. So in the bathroom light like you can kind of see that I fake tanned. I mean my teeth look white. We'll go with that. I mean, my lips look pinker in comparison to my face. You can definitely notice that. The only little thing that I did do, I've got this mark here where I obviously didn't rub it in, but that's obviously where I just, you know, missed a little patch. I will film small clips of every day um, just to see if the tan develops a bit more over the next couple of days. This is day one, obviously, and obviously there is a bit of color there, so it has worked. So I decided on the phone yesterday to Emily, aka my sister. And I was like, I don't know whether I should apply another coat. And she was like, you know what, YOLO, do it. So Holly has flown to the tropics and come back in one night. I put it on again yesterday evening, so Monday evening. And I didn't wash it off this morning because I just wanted to see if it like darkens up a bit And I definitely feel that it's darker. I mean if you can't see in this light you can definitely see in other lights I actually really like this color. So like here you can see that I definitely look more orange and tanned And then in the bathroom light I think you can kind of tell as well I'm not really sure if you can now tell in the mirror. I did my whole body again I don't think I've got any streaks so we're all good I don't know how that mark on my foot is looking. Oh, still there. It's kind of darkened up a bit. And we've got a matching one, but oh well. My head is like double the size when I put my head on. It's all poofy. I just wanted to say to finish off this video because yes, it was mainly a vlog of my weekend here at uni. So as you've seen, it's not really any different to what I do every day of the week. I still had lectures. As you saw, I still was really busy with dance and I had work to do. So having a weekend at university is sometimes questionable. I also hope you've enjoyed seeing me fake tan. So this is day three basically after I have now obviously showered yesterday evening. You can tell when you put the clips next to each other. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly show you. So before I looked like this, that was before I fake tanned. And then after I had done one coat and showered after basically eight hours. It wasn't that dark after I'd done one coat. So then I obviously applied another as I've been telling you and that is what I looked like after 
I had applied a second coat but then not showered so it was quite dark then and then this is finally what I look like now after two coats and like basically on day three so I have showered now and yeah I really do like the color it has turned out I've got a nice glow and I really do like this color so I don't know how long it's gonna last but I'll keep you guys updated on like social media um to see how it's going i'm gonna keep using this exfoliant especially on my hands because when i did it over my body the other day my skin felt so smooth and i never normally exfoliate so maybe i should do that a bit more often and then yeah the tanning products i really do like them so if you're interested in 100 percent natural cruelty free organic vegan um like tanning products then you can check out Ecotan. I mean, thank you so much Ecotan for sending them to me. I think I've achieved something in this world, people. Congrats, Holly. But yes, thank you for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, if you're new around here, then you can subscribe for more um, videos every single week. Yeah, thank you guys for watching as usual, and I will speak to you in my next video. I think I should put my hair down more. You guys tell me I should put my hair down more. So I'm trying. Bye. Final note before anyone says, she's wearing the same sports bra and shorts every single day. Um, I did just put them on for reference, FYI. <laughs>